Hey guys, I'm Amanda. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. I'm so excited to flow with you and just work into the hips and take care of them. So if you're really sore in the hips and you just did leg day and you're just feeling it, this is a great one for you. So it shouldn't be too long, but uh, feel free to pause this at any time and stay in these positions as long as you want. I always recommend if you're going to really want to get into the muscles and really stretch and get that, um, that yeah, that stretch in, <laughs> I recommend doing it, holding the poses for at least three to five minutes to get the best. <laughs> There's some bugs around here. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's get started. We're just going to warm up the legs just a little bit so we can get a little deeper into the stretches. So we're actually going to be standing here. So have feet about a little past hip distance apart. We're going to bend the knees into a low squat. Good. We're just doing a real quick warm up just to get these legs going. So it might be a little intense here for a sec. So tuck the belly, making sure that you're not arching right here, but your tailbone is tucked, abs and core are engaged knees are not over the toes good alrighty so we're going to bring our right knee down to the ground then inhale up then left knee down <sighs> inhale up good it's gonna burn right down inhale up left down <sighs> inhale up exhale down <sighs> inhale up exhale <sighs> inhale exhale <sighs> Inhale, exhale, inhale, hold it here. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, bring the feet out just a little bit wider. Coming down into goddess, place your hands onto the knees. Rock it side to side. Good. Still a little burn. Should already be a little warm in the legs right there. Good, release the hands from the knees. Hold it there for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, lift it. Exhale, bring the feet forward, forward fold. Good. That was a nice little workout. Got my heart rate up there. Interlace the hands, sway side to side. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. <sighs> Nothing deep or strenuous here, just loosening up the back. Good. Inhale, bring the arms all the way up. And exhale, bring the feet together. Awesome. Now we're just simply going to go into warrior two. So bring the right foot forward, left foot back, parallel to the back of the mat. Hips are facing the left side of your mat. Good. Warrior warrior two. Hold it there for five, four, three, two, one. Bend the left knee coming all the way down to Skandasana. Good. Hold it there for five, four, three, two, one. We're going to pick up the pace here. Inhale up, warrior two. Exhale down. Skandasana. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale down. Beautiful. Place your hands down. Come into the middle to that wide leg forward fold. Pivot your feet towards the back of the mat. Bend the left knee. Coming into warrior two on the opposite side. Good. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Bend the right knee, coming all the way down into Skandasana. Hold it here, get cozy. Your goal here is to making sure that your whole foot is flat on the ground. You're not arching over. Back is nice and long. Left foot is flexed. All right, pick up the pace here. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, skandasana. 
Be audible with your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Place the hands down in front of you. Come into a wide leg forward fold. Alrighty, now we're gonna get into the hips and relax a little bit. So go ahead and tilt those feet in. Come down towards the mat. Tabletop position here. Tuck the toes, coming into down dog. Walk it out. Inhale, the right leg comes up. Bend the knee, step it through, drop the back knee. This isn't very much a flow, this is just more of stretching now, so. That's why I like yoga. You can make it however best suits you. From here, you're more than welcome to have some blocks here if you need. Or inhale, bring the arms up. Really challenge yourself to bring the hips forward, square them forward. Don't arch the back and jump down. Bring the hips in. Sink the leg down. Good. You're gonna really feel that stretch there. Maybe bring your hands to the back of the hip. Focus on the breath. And just hold it here. Maybe find some bounces. Good. Exhale, place the hands down. Flex the right foot, shift it back, half split. Making sure you're not squaring the hips out, keep it square towards the front. Exhale, find a little forward fold. This is pretty a deep stretch for the beginning, but our legs are somewhat warm, so just bob into it. Inhale, coming all the way back forward. Good. Bring the right foot all the way towards the right side of the mat. Scooch your back foot back just a little, little bit. Hands on the inside of the foot. Lizard pose. Good. Hold it here. Pretend. One. Now come down to the elbows for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now come all the way back onto the hands. You're going to bend the back foot. You're more than welcome just to stay here. But I'm giving you an option. Maybe reach back with the right hand. And grab the foot if it's in your practice. If not, that's okay. Just find a nice little twist here. Breathe. Good, slowly release, bring the hand back. Walk the right foot all the way over to the left side of the mat, coming into everyone's favorite, pigeon pose. <laughs> if you are in a more flexible body, you bring your leg parallel to the front of the mat. See how my leg is more straight? Then you square the hips off. If you're in a tighter body, you bring the foot more in towards the body, making sure you're not on the outside of the leg, but rolling on top of the knee here, but not sitting on top of the foot. Be gentle with your front knee as well. Good. If you're on a hard surface or something, maybe put a towel underneath your knee, it'll help. Or sometimes you flip the mat under, get a little extra cushion. Hold it here, don't fall down yet, <laughs> or lie down. Square the hips. Good, 
good. Bend the back knee. Feel free to stay here. Or, if it's in your practice, reach back. Feel free to play around with your pigeon however you'd like. You can hear the little puppies whining. <laughs> Makes me feel so bad. <laughs> and then exhale slowly coming down onto the leg. Coming into that full pigeon. Feel free to just stay here for as long as you like. Pause it if you need. Breathe. Bring your head all the way down to the mat. It's in these moments where I turn up the music and I just let my body surrender. Inhale slowly, coming all the way back up. Good. Sitting down onto the right cheek. Swing the left leg all the way over and around. Let it hug the body. Stepping it down right onto the opposite side of the right leg. Good. Inhale, reach up with the right arm. Then exhale, find a twist, looking over the left shoulder. You're gonna feel that right there in the quad. Not the quads, the external hip. Good. Exhale, release. Your legs are already in a nice little position, so we're going to come into cow face pose. So that means your knees are going to stack on top of each other. If your knee is still out to the side, that's okay. Just make sure your hips are rooted down. Feel free to have a couple blocks here in front of you. I like to have that and let, let my forehead rest on it so I can really relax into this pose. Inhale, make the spine nice and long. Then exhale, bring it forward. Forward fold and surrender. This can be a pretty deep stretch, so tune into the ujjayi breath. If you don't know what an ujjayi breath is, maybe I'll do that in another video for you. <laughs> but basically, it's a fogging in the back of your throat when you exhale, making like a sound of the ocean in the back of your throat. Beautiful. Inhale, slowly coming up, slowly, gently. We're going to do one little party trick here. Keep the feet planted right where you're at. You're going to lift forward, coming all the way up, lift the hips. Your legs are still crossed, right? Pivot all the way to the back of the mat. Good. Right there. And bring the feet, or the hands forward, bring the feet back. Meet me in down dog, opposite direction on your mat. So walk it out. You might feel one leg is a lot looser than the other. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale, step it through. Drop the back knee. Untuck the back toe. Inhale, coming up into that low lunge. Remember what we did last time, making sure that our knee isn't going forward over the toes. Hips are square towards the front. You're not arching and dumping. You're tucking the tailbone, engaging the core, and pulling the hip down. Hold it there. Feel free to use blocks here if you need to help with balance. If not, 
No worries. Beautiful. On an exhale, place the hands down. Flex the left foot. Come into that half split. Inhale, come forward. And exhale, bring the left foot all the way over to the left side of the mat. Hands on the inside, bring the back foot back just a tad. Lizard pose. Hold it here for five, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, come all the way down to the elbows or come onto the block if you need. For ten, nine, eight. Making sure your back isn't rounded like this. Making sure the back is nice and long and straight. Shoulders rolled back. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, coming all the way back onto the hands. Feel free if it's in your practice to bend the knee. Remember, you can always roll the mat over. A little extra cushion on the knee here. Bend the back knee. If it's in your practice, feel free to reach back with your left hand or just find a gentle twist. It's not going to be too harsh on alignment right now. Just do what feels good in your body. Good, exhale, release. Now walk the left foot all the way over to the right side. Drop it, coming into that favorite pigeon pose. Remembering we're not sitting on to the side. Feel free to roll over on top of the knee. Bring the foot in or place it out a little bit longer in front of you for a little extra stretch. Just hold it here. Feel the stretch, maybe find that slight back bend. Bend the back knee. Feel free to keep it there or reach back to the foot. Play with your pigeon pose however you would like. Try to keep the hips square towards the front as possible, not coming out to the side like this. So keeping the hips square, shoulders square towards the front. Slowly release. Inhale deeply. Best part coming. Exhale. Find that fold. Release the lower back. Maybe give it some wiggles and let the forehead come all the way down or on a block. Feel free to pause this and stay however long you want. Feel the breath move through the body. Feel every inhale energizing every cell in your body. Feel the ligaments loosen. It's okay if your foot's falling asleep. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Inhale, you're slowly, gently coming up. Sit down onto the left tushy. Sweep the right leg all the way over. Coming into that nice twist. Place the right hand back. Left arm comes up. Inhale. And then exhale, find that twist. Look over the right shoulder. 
feel it on the outer hip. Beautiful exhale, coming all the way back to center, coming into cow face. Bring those feet out and let the knees stack. So I'll just face you guys real quick, just so you can see. If your knees are out here, that's totally okay. The goal is just to make sure that those hips are all the way down to the ground. If you want to bring the knees all the way stacked in line for more of a stretch, bring the feet out. And whenever you're ready, find that forward fold. gently coming up, coming into that party trick again, bring the hands forward, keep the feet planted, lift the hips, party trick it, twist it all the way back forward towards the front, good, feet are around the sides of the mat, inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, bring the hips all the way down, coming all the way into malasana, so elbows come onto the inside of the knees. Press the palms together, lift the heart forward. Bring the palms into the middle of the chest. Good, hold it there. Good, then exhale slowly, gently, bring the knees together and Sit all the way down. Scooch on in. Bring the back all the way back to the mat. Bring the knees into the chest. Place the left foot down. Right leg comes over and across. You're coming into a reclined pigeon here. Reach the arms underneath. Thread it through. Feel free to rock side to side. Exhale, release. Bringing the right leg down, left leg up, place it on top of the right to thread the arms through. Rock it side to side. release. Good. Bring the knees into the chest. Cross the right leg over the left. Bring the knees into the chest here. Good. Now you're going to bring the hands out to a T and drop the knees over towards the left side body. So you're getting a gentle twist here, looking over the right shoulder. Maybe the left hand comes and supports the knee. Inhale, slowly coming back to center, unwind, untwist. Switching sides, left over the right to bring the knees into the chest. Drop the knees over to the right side. Look over the left shoulder. Mm -hmm. 
Inhale, coming all the way back to center on twist and unwind. Sway it side to side. Hug the knees into the body. Rock forward and back on the spine. And then all the way back to the back, holding yourself here. And then slowly coming into your ending pose. Hands down to the ground. Palms facing up. Shoulders releasing. Body melting. Please stay here, Savasana, as long as you need. I recommend at least five to 10 minutes. Thank you so much for doing this flow or stretch with me today. Have a wonderful rest of your day and namaste.